Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Chief from Spreadshot Games. Got a little bit of a multiplayer Halo 4 playthrough here. It's gonna be me on top, Born Stellar, with my good brother Lunch. Lunch Punch always be shooting down at the bottom. And we're playing on the Halo 4 new playlist, the Forge playlist. This map is called Scythe. And I would say if you are a Halo player that's not necessarily that great, as you can see me and Lunch both die at the very beginning of this game and our team's down, and you want to increase uh, you know, your skill with playing as a team uh, with just some of your friends by using callouts and stuff like the pro players do, I would definitely suggest playing the Halo 4 Forge playlist. Um, a lot of the maps are very, very, they're a lot smaller than what, you know, the regular Halo 4 maps are. They seem to be definitely built around some more competitive play. Uh, this map is great for learning callouts. As you can see, there's different colors to every room. Everything's multi-tiered, so you can use callouts like like Seth would be shooting on green top right now and he's in green top now he's in you know blue blue pit rather and uh, you know this is low blue red tunnel where lunch is running through right now and I'll be up in uh, you know I'm high blue red tunnel right now you know just using callouts like that uh, my friends, when I play with them, you know, we use callouts that just seem appropriate. Uh, whatever something looks like, we kind of call it. If it's high, it's high. If it's, you know, low, it's low. If it's mid, it's mid. But, uh, you know, like, we call it pit. Pit's low. And, you know, that like that'd be like red, red bridge. Um, and then you got like, you know... There's a needler that spawns on that red tower right there, so you can say a red needler. Um, you know, just saying stuff like that. And I would suggest communication's really good. Even if you're playing with somebody who doesn't have a mic, um, just letting them know. Like, if you have Promethean vision, you know, where where the guys are. If they're going to walk into a, a, you know, a snake pit that, you know, you could give them a little bit of, of a heads up. But I think... Again, going with Promethean Vision, it's definitely a good power to have on this map. Because uh, the maps are so much smaller, there are a lot of walls, there's a lot of cover to break stuff up. It's good to know where people are. Uh, for loadout-wise, I usually use a DMR. You saw me using it with my jetpack at the beginning of this, but I switched over to one of my Promethean Vision ones that has a battle rifle, and that's because from watching some videos, again, I said I wasn't that good. I get a lot of advice from uh, Halo Reach Tutor, Naked Eli, those YouTubers, but um, you know they say a battle rifle usually wins in a close range contest against a DMR. So since most of these maps are pretty close quarters. Uh, I chose to go with a battle rifle and just kind of suck it up and learn how to use this damn gun. Uh, Lunch, he already likes to use this gun. It's kind of like his standard thing. But me, I'm definitely a DMR guy. But you'll see later on in this video, I'll give a pretty good example of how a battle rifle does just uh, work against a DMR in, you know, a close quarters. But... Also, with all these corridors and stuff, uh, you'd probably be best at rolling frags just because you can bounce them and in combination with that Promethean vision, uh, it helps you just kind of like mathematically determine, you know, where you're gonna throw your stuff, uh, how you can bounce them, and see if you can definitely get some kills out of it. And use those hit markers to your advantage, you know, if you're getting them to finish them off. I know usually in Halo you throw grenades so fast anyway that it doesn't really, you know, you don't have time to gauge and they'll probably be running off by then anyway. But yeah, this is a great, great, you know, uh, map to use with friends, to learn callouts, to learn teammates, uh, you know, just working as a team. 
Another good thing that these smaller maps are good for is it's good for learning how to checkmate people. There's plenty of like flanking areas to take. Uh, unfortunately, you need a jetpack to do it really fast. So I would say maybe roll a jetpack in this on these smaller maps. But basically, checkmating is just uh, pushing your teammate or pushing your opponent somewhere where another teammate can basically get to flank them. You know, in chess, you win by checkmating a king, and basically they can't make any moves. So checkmating is usually when, uh, you know, you push the enemy so far that, it, you know, you can flank and they don't have anywhere to go. But I think coming up here soon is where lunch might actually get that guy with the battle rifle. That may have already... Yeah, it happens right here. Now watch. He's going to take one dude out. Pretty easy because this dude's not paying attention. He gets the quick melee there. But watch. This guy gets the drop on him. Hits him first with a DMR. And Lunch is still able to clean him up with a BR. So, that's that, you know, close quarters that people like Halo Reach Tutor were talking about. That you should try to kind of get into and using a BR on these smaller maps. I'm definitely getting used to it just because I'm so used to, you know, using the DMR. I played a lot of Halo Reach. Uh, did not play a lot of Halo 3 multiplayer, but, you know, here I'm using ammo in combination with a Needler, and that works pretty good. Almost any ordnance weapon you call in in combination with ammo is very, very helpful. Uh, if you have ammo, you know, you just want to pretty much pick up any ordnance weapon that's on the map, even if you're not good at it. Uh, you know, if you suck with a sniper, some, you know, I'm not that great, but I'll pick it up and if I think the enemy's closing in on me, I'll just shoot it until I, you know, waste bullets. Because you gotta be careful, because if someone with an ordinance picks up a gun, uh, with ammo in it and the enemy gets a hold of it, you know, you could be giving them those extra two, extra four rockets, but me and Lunch both get bossed by a real gun right there, and that's an awesome gun to have with ammo. But right here is another good example of checkmating. Lunch is in the front, and I come up through the rear, melee this dude, and switch the railgun, but I never really get the kill. But we do pick up the win right here, bash that guy's face in, and then go sit on him. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.